yeah hello guys we are highly welcome to another tutorial on the fashion channel on this video i'll be taking you through how to stitch uh, this uh, senator stripe uh, design as you can see the pocket uh, is a uh, visible and there's another one which is a uh, wet pocket stripe design is very nice especially if you know how to play with the with the lines so please if you are sewing a stripe material make sure you watch the line and then you set all the lines on the on the dress so this makes the work look very nice and then beautiful so without any further delay let's get started so you lay the pieces like this and then you rule it like the line straight so you rule it slant like this so this will be for the facing and this is the back of the material and then you cut it straight down After you've done this, you'll place the main bodies on the on the pieces which you have already cut uh, slantly like this. So make sure you watch the line which decide where the slant uh, fall on, and then you set the material on it. This is the main bodies. So make sure the front is uh, facing uh, upward. So this is the face of the material, and then you measure it, which is a uh, nine point uh, five. Just make sure that uh, the pieces come down a bit lower than the arm hole line so you can see that it's come down than the lower arm hole line so that is a 9.5 and then you cut it out so when you are done with the cutting you cut the neckline also and then please if this is the first time you are checking on this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button to, so that you'll be able to enjoy a lo lot of videos on this uh, channel and that is it so this side now you may cut it uh, straight because this side will be a little bit uh, shorter and then you cut it straight down like this and then the inches here is a uh, three the three inches so that is the wideness for this uh, side so don't make it longer than three inches and then you mark 0 0.5 here then you roll it straight down don't forget this is the face of the material this is the face so that is it and then you cut another pieces this is the back now and then you turn the front on it so this is the front facing upward and this is the face of the other side as well and then you cut it straight like this slantly so please make sure you watch how i'm setting this so you can see the direction which uh, this uh, other stripe line is uh, facing and then you slant it like this so you place it on the half inch and then you set the line make sure you watch all the lines and make sure that each line is uh, equal so you can see that that it's equal from up but at the bottom line the line is not uh, that uh, very equal so i have to retrim it a, a little bit so that the line will be will be equal or true so you trim it a bit like this and that is it so you set it now so i only trim the damp parts which is not a uh, equal and as you can see that the line is all the lines is a uh, equal now all the lines are equal then you can trim it a bit again so please make sure you take your time to to set this and that is it so now the next thing to do is to measure the wideness of this uh, material itself so because we are using it like a uh, straight down a bit so you measure 0 0.10 you measure the length which should be like a uh, 22 inches so you cut it out like a uh, 22 inches and then the wideness will be 3.5 so the wideness will be 3.5 and then you cut it straight down And then you cut another pieces which will be for the wet pockets so you look at the lines now so this is the wideness of the wet pockets and then the wideness is a six inches by by five so that is the length also and this is the back and this is another material which we are using for the wet pocket so the wideness is a six inches while the length is a ten inches now this is the facing after i've already applied st on it you can see this 
and I'll fold the down part like this also with like a 0.7 so the next thing to do this is the to mark this uh, edge like this with a 0.5 and this is the other material I've applied still on it like this and then this is the on this line and then this is the second one so I apply still on this one also and I fold the, the edge with a 0.7 so this will be for the wet pocket and this is the other material now so this is the other material this which we are putting by the by the side I've already applied ST on this one after you apply ST then you fold the both side and then once you fold the both side the wideness will be 1.7 1.7 so that is it on the necessary parts to go so now you stitch this uh, facing on it make sure you use uh, your pin to secure the the edge and then you start the stitches from this side and then you stitch it all through So here now you measure 0.6 and then you stitch it all through like this with a 0.6 make sure that the stitches is very straight and then you use your hand to secure the the damp part as well so that there won't be any squeeze in the front of the of the dress so that is it and now you remove all the office pin so the next thing to do now is to press this uh, area you press it like this from the back and then you press it uh, on the front also so this is this after i've already done the pressing and the next thing to do is to apply the wet pocket on the on the dress so you mark it from the center with a uh, two inches so you mark two inches like this so i'm using a uh, two inches so let me use this uh, 1.7 and then the wideness is a uh, four inches so on this uh, wet pocket now so that is a uh, two point on this wet pocket you first roll it uh, straight like this and then you mark the pocket uh, opening please if you want to know how to how to prepare a watch pocket i have another video for that which will take you through the simplest and the easiest method on how to achieve a wet pocket single line wet pocket and then the wideness is a 0.5 so you mark uh, you place the two together like this after you have already marked a 0.2 on one side then you place the two together like this and then you mark the half inch because the other one we have to cover for this uh, space in which we are creating in between the two so you roll it straight like this and then you place the two together and then you mark it straight on the same edge line so now you have to fix it into the bodies so you place that uh, place which you mark and make sure make sure that uh, it's tally with the marking on the on the on the material that is on the main bodies so once you get there you turn around you turn the machine and then you make sure that the thin rhyme and then you stitch on the on the marking straight down make sure that the stitches does not exceed the the line which we use then you notch the center once you notch the center, when you're about to get to the edge, you stop and then you open it like this and then you cut it slantly. Make sure that the notching is not uh, longer than the, than the stitches. So that is very important. So you do the same thing on this other side. You cut it open and don't cut it up to the point where the stitches uh, ended. Then you slant it like this. land the other side also you notch it like that so you pull everything inside and then make sure you set it very well so you turn it like this then you use your hand to spread it so that is it after i've already pressed it with the uh, iron and then at the back you stitch it like this you stitch this side 
and then you turn it to the other side and then you stitch this uh, side also so that is it now you turn it to the front and then you open the material like this you open one side and then you use your hand to open this uh, two two material you separate the two and then you stitch this uh, tip as you do this, the next thing to do now is to stick the pocket round. Stick it round like this. So please, if this is the first time you are checking on this channel and then you are yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So now the material we cut, which is a 10 inches of a length, you place it on the on the pocket like this and then you set the line so you can see that uh, the upper part here is not that very straight so i have to trim it so that it will be straight so now you notch the material on the put edge like this so at the place where the pocket uh, fall on so that is the place where we fix the where we fold the pocket and then you check it at the bottom line at it like this so make sure that it's kick off so this is it now after i've already prepared the the pocket so i fold the edge on the side where the line fall on on the on the on the pocket so that is it on how to get this done when you are sewing a stripe material so you have turn the wet pocket inside up like this and then you stitch it straight down like this make sure that the stitches fall on the edge and then you use your hand to secure the material and then you are tensioning the damp part of the, the damp material so that it will not say uh, have any squeeze while you are doing the while you have finished the sewing so you can see this so the next thing to do now is to place you can see that the pocket uh, have a two different uh, pockets there so you place this uh, other one on it like this and then you set the the line so make sure that it's overlap on this uh, material with a uh, half inch and then you use the office pin to secure the edge and then you stitch it uh, straight down so make sure that you watch all the lines and then you use your hand to pull it and then sell it sets it very well so that you very equal all through so you stitch it like this so you stitch it straight like this and then you tension the damn material so this is it now you can see how rhyme the material the line is and that is it on how to stitch this uh, particular design on the senator dress you can see all the lines then you can see how nice and beautiful the dress come out after we did the finishing so this is it now so i believe you enjoyed this video if you derive value in it please let me give this a uh, video a thumbs up and then click on the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to this channel so thank you and see you in the next video bye for now